How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. Now today, I'm going to be going over my first impressions of the Flash Forge Adventure 4 Pro. And um, spoilers, they weren't good to begin with. Let's talk about it. Alright, so if you haven't seen my unboxing and setup video, then I definitely recommend watching that beforehand. I'll have a link in the description down below and up here in the uh, card or that corner, whichever one it is. In, um, but anyway, for some context, at the end of that video, I printed a Benchy. And I have to say, for a printer that's supposed to be an upgrade of the Adventure 4, I wasn't impressed. Now this may be influenced by the fact that I have a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon that can pump out one of these bad boys in great quality in 7-8 minutes. However, I do have a Benji here printed on the Adventure 4 and I have to say, it looks a lot better. So I spent a couple hours test printing multiple Benchies with different settings, hoping that I might be able to fix this issue. However, after 12 Benchies, nothing I tried was working. I reached out to Flashforge support for some help on the matter and they sent me a couple of test prints that they had sliced themselves to print. However, I was still having the same issue. They then asked me to send them through my GX file for the Benchy so that they could print it themselves and within an hour or two they got back to me stating that they were also having the same issues. Which I found quite interesting considering this printer is not a demo unit and it's currently available for purchase. Yeah. Anyways, after a few emails back and forth, Flashforge support sent me through a beta version of their software and two new profiles for the high-speed nozzle and high-speed PLA. And I'll tell you what, what happened next blew my mind. It worked. Yep, that's right. It worked. Flawlessly, I might add. A perfect Benchy printed in 38 minutes using their new high-speed PLA and high-speed nozzle. Now this is what I was expecting from the machine when I heard that they were making an upgraded version of the Adventure 4. So to wrap everything up, essentially at the moment Flashforge is currently working on a new version of Flashprint uh, 5.7 uh, which will support the high speed nozzle and high speed PLA. Uh, the current Flashprint 5.6.1 profiles for the Adventure 4 Pro do not work and I've sent through emails to Flash Forge support with my findings and images of the benches I printed so hopefully they get that resolved and uh, sorted soon um, however for any of you that have the printer currently and are having the same issues as me I'll have links down below uh, a link to a beta version of the software as well as a high speed and quality profiles because they gave me two um, and uh, you can either use the beta version of it or you can actually import them as a filament type into Flashprint version 5.6.1. Yep, that's right. Test it for you. It works. You're welcome. That about wraps up this video. I hope you found this video educational and useful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, let me know your thoughts on the new printer in the comments down below. And as always, happy printing.